there's a decent chance that you or a loved one has suffered a concussion at some point. About a third of all people do. Maybe you played football in high school or took a tumble on your bike or got in a bad car accident. Most of the time, it's not a big deal. You're fine after a few weeks, but what happens if the story doesn't end there? What happens when the dizziness, the headaches, the brain fog, and the depression stretch on for months or even years? This, unfortunately, is the reality for a substantial portion of the people who experience what we call a mild TBI, or traumatic brain injury. Their initial scans look normal, and their doctors assure them they're fine, but as time goes on, they're left grappling with symptoms that make it hard to work, hard to think, or hard to just get through the day. Until recently, treatment options for these kinds of symptoms have been frustratingly limited. But now, there's a new piece of tech, a treatment that's starting to get attention in this space. It's not a drug, it's not invasive surgery, and it's not a brain implant. It's something called non-invasive vagus nerve stimulation. And today, we're looking at this paper, a study that tested whether or not it actually works. On today's episode of Journal Club, we'll look at how they conducted it, how they gathered their data, and how they ran their analysis. And of course, we'll learn whether or not vagus nerve stimulation actually works. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this full episode in text, audio, and video form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.